Dear students, this is grade 12 mathematics lesson on unit 3, introduction to differential calculus. Uh, so today we focus on derivatives of a function at a point. So after revising this lesson, you are expected to find equation of tangent line to the graph at a point and identify differentiability of a function uh, at a point and on interval. So let's continue to listen. Let's see this definition. The derivative of a function. The derivative of f at a point a is the limit of a uh, quotient difference if it exists. This means, this means, if we have a function like this, if we have a function like this, if we are asked the derivative of this function at A, so this assume we say it is f of x, we need to find two points. Let's take a point here a plus h so between these two try to find the slope of this expression when you find the slope this point is it is a plus h comma this point it is it is a plus h comma f of a plus h it is f of a plus h and this point is this a comma this point is a comma f of a so to find the slope simply take the difference of y to the difference of x so uh, the derivative of this expression at this point at this point is given by the limit of f of a plus h minus f of a over h where h goes to 0. So the derivative of this function at point a simply uh, you take the slope simply it is f of a plus h minus f of a divided by uh, the difference of the two a plus h minus h. Uh, so you get this result and when h is very uh, close to uh, 0 when h is close to 0 these two numbers are uh, closer. So, in that case, you will find the derivative at that point, the derivative of the function at that point. So, it's defined in this form, uh, f derivative of a, this is called to this, f of a plus h minus f of a over h where h goes to 0. Or, you can write in this form, you can write in this form, the derivative of, of a function at a is given by, in this form, the limit of f of x minus f of a over x minus a where x approaches to a. This is how uh, the formula to evaluate the derivative of a given function at a point, at a point. And the derivative of a function at a point means it is the slope of tangent line at that point. This means, look, if we have this graph, the derivative of 
this function at this point at this point means it is the slope of the slope of uh, this tangent line that means uh, let's take this to be a and this function to be f so the derivative of the function at point a this is equal to this the slope of the tangent line at that point so we can write the equation of uh, tangent line uh, at that point using this equation using, using this equation y minus f of a this equal to f derivative of a times x minus a this means look we have the slope here the slope is this m or it's f derivative of a to write the equation of this tangent line we have this point this point is it is a comma f of a let me write it here it is a comma f of a so we have this one and we have the slope and we have the slope so uh, to write the equation of this uh, tangent line uh, it is a point slope form it's a point slope form so y minus f of a this is equal to m times this is a slope f derivative of a is the slope so m times it is x minus a so this is a formula to write uh, the equation of uh, tangent line at a point for a given graph so now let's see example for this uh, uh, concept look this one uh, this uh, question is given find the equation of a tangent line to the graph of f of x is equal to x squared at x equal to 5 to write the tangent line equation first I need the slope I need the slope the slope is simply it's the derivative of that function at that point so the slope of the line is simply the derivative of the function at 5 f derivative of 5 so uh, to find the derivative you can use this uh, formula uh, just we stated earlier the derivative of the function at 5 is simply the limit of f of x minus f of 5 over x minus 5 where x approaches to 5 so this equal to f of x is given it is x squared minus f of 5 when you put 5 here f of 5 it is 5 squared 25 over x minus 5 so when you factorize this to find or to evaluate the limit of this one x squared minus 25 means it is uh, x squared minus 25 means it is x minus 5 times x plus 5 divided by x minus 5 so these two cancels out only x plus 5 is remaining therefore the limit of x plus 5 when x approaches to 5 is 5 plus 5 it is 10 this 10 is the slope of a tangent line this 10 is the slope of tangent line so once we have found uh, the slope we can write uh, the equation uh, using the formula it is y minus f of a our a is in this case 5 y minus f of a or f of 5 is equal to the slope it is f derivative of 5 times x minus 5 so so putting the result is y minus f of 5 is this 25 f of 5 when you put 5 here 5 squared is 25 this is equal to the derivative of the function at 5 is this given or we calculated here it is 10 times x minus 5 therefore when you simplify this you get y is equal to 10x minus 5 so this is this the tangent line equation for this graph at x is equal to 5 now let's see another example here it say find the equation of tangent line to the graph of f of x is equal to 1 over the square root of x at x is equal to 4 so to write the equation of tangent line we need first the slope at 4 the slope at 4 means f derivative of 4 so let's find this so f derivative of 4 this means it is the limit of f of x minus f of 4 over 
x minus 4 with x approaches to 4. So our f of x, it is 1 over x minus f of 4, when you put 4 in the function, it is 1 over the square root of 4, it's 1 over 2. So 1 over square root of x minus 1 over 2 divided by x minus 4. So this is equal to the limit x approaches to 4. Uh, when you simplify this, first let me write this one, 1 over x minus 4 here. And this result will be this 2 minus the square root of x over the product of 2, two root x. And to find the limit, we need to rationalize the numerator. To rationalize the numerator, uh, multiply by 2 plus the square root of x, 2 plus by 2 plus the square root of x. So, when you simplify this, this result, this product, will be this 4 minus x. When you multiply this, you get 4 minus x. And 4 minus x cancels x minus 4 when you take the ratio, it is negative 1. It's negative 1. Over uh, the remaining part of these two, it is 2 root x times 2 plus the square root of x. When you put 4 in this expression, you get negative 1 over 16. Therefore, uh, the slope or the slope of the tangent line at 4, or f derivative 4, is this negative 1 over 16. Now, once we have found the slope, we can write the equation using this formula. So y minus f of a, our f of a is 4 here, y minus f of 4, this equal to the slope, it is f derivative of 4 times x minus 4. So putting the numbers here, y minus f of 4 is this, you put 4 in the function, 1 over square root of x, 1 over 4, square root of 4, it's 1 over 2. This equal to the derivative at 4, it, that's the slope, we have found it is negative 1 over 16, put negative 1 over 16, uh, so times x minus 4, when you simplify it, you get y is equal to negative 1 over 16x plus 3 over 4. So this is the tangent line equation for the graph of f of x equal to 1 over square root of x at x equal to 4. Now let's see this example. Let f of x is x cubed minus 3x. You are asked to find the values of x at which the slope of this tangent line to the graph of f of x is 0. So the slope is 0 means the derivative of this expression is 0. So find that value of x. Or in other words, it means find the value of x at which the derivative of this expression is 0. So let's find it. So simply the derivative is 0. Let's find uh, the value of x. So the expression here, it is f of x equals to x cubed minus 3x. Its derivative is put 3 in front and subtract uh, 2. Uh, subtract 1 from uh, the exponent, so this equal to 3x squared minus the derivative of this one, it is 3, this equal to 0. So, uh, when you just evaluate this one, you put 3 there and divide by 3, you get x squared is equal to 1. Therefore, from this, uh, x it is plus or minus 1. Therefore, therefore, at x equals to 1 and negative 1, the slope of tangent line for this graph is it is 0, this means. Okay, now let's see another uh, part, differentiation of a function at a point. Differentiation of a function at a point. Now, let f be a continuous function at x0. If the limit of f of x minus f of x naught over x minus x naught where x approaches to x naught uh, is equal to infinity or the limit of f, f of x minus f of x naught when x approaches to x naught is equal to negative infinity 
then the vertical line x equal to x naught is a tangent uh, line to the graph at x naught comma f of x naught. So let's see example for this concept. Here, find the equation of tangent line to the graph of f of x is equal to x to the power of 1 over 3 at x is equal to 0. Now, to find the tangent line equation, we need the slope. So the slope is evaluated using this expression, quotient difference. That's the limit of f of x minus f of x naught over x minus x naught, where x approaches to x naught. So this implies the slope is equal to our f of x is this x to the power of 1 over 3 minus our f of x naught means you put 0 in the function, 0 is the power of 1 over 3, it is 0. So over x minus x naught, our x, x is variable, minus our x naught is 0, so x minus 0. When you simplify this, you get this result. When you simplify this, it will be this x to the power of, you take the difference of their exponent, 1 over 3 minus 1, it is negative 2 over 3. So this will be this 1 over the cube root of x squared. So when x approaches to 0, this number will be very small. 1 over very small number is goes to infinity. Therefore, uh, the limit of this expression will be this infinity. Since the limit or the slope is infinity, the tangent line at this point is a vertical line, a vertical line. So the equation of tangent line uh, will be the vertical line x is equal to 0. So uh, it will be it is the vertical line x equal to 0 is it is tangent to the graph at 0, 0. Okay, now let's see another part. Let's see definition. If i is an open interval, then we say that a function f is differentiable on i if f is differentiable at each point on i. On i. Okay, and if i is a closed interval, this, then we say that f is differentiable on this closed interval a b if and only if this function is differentiable on open interval a b and it is differentiable from the right side of a and differentiable from the left side of b which means that the limit of f of x minus f of a when x approaches a from the right side must exist not on this one the limit of f of x minus f of b over x minus b when x approaches to b from the left also exists. In that case, the function is differentiable on a closed interval a, b. By the way, a function is differentiable on this interval means it doesn't mean that the function is differentiable at a. This means it is the function is differentiable from the right side of a. In, in addition to that, a function is differentiable on the left side of b. Okay, so now let's see example for this. We have these questions. Try to find the differentiability interval for this function. Here f of x is given, uh, another function is given. Let's see this turn by turn. Let's see this turn by turn. Now let's see this one f of x is equal to x if x is greater than 1 and 2 minus x squared if x is less than or equal to 1. Here we are asked to determine the differentiability interval for this function. So let's try to find the derivative of this function. The derivative of this function for x greater than, let's leave 1 first, for x greater than 1, this function is given, its derivative of x is 1. 
for x less than 1, let's exclude 1 here. For x less than 1, the derivative of this function is it is minus 2x. So we need to check the derivative of this function at x is equal to 1. To check that, we have to check the right side and the left side derivative at 1. The derivative of this function from the right side of 1 is this one, it is 1. So f derivative from the right, f derivative of x from, from, from the right side, from the right side of 1, from the right side, let's take, like, like, let's write like this, from the right side of 1, is it is, this part, uh, its derivative it is from the right side is 1, from the left side, if you take from the left side, you take this expression, so its derivative it is minus 2x, minus 2x times what is minus 2. From the left side of 1, its derivative is minus 2. From the right side of 1, its derivative it is 1. Since they are not equal, the derivative of this function at x is equal to 1 does not exist. Does not exist. So, uh, to write the differentiability interval, it is differentiable from 1 up to infinity. From the right side of 1 is also its derivative 1. So it is differentiable from uh, negative infinity up to 1. That means from the left side of 1. From the left side of 1, its derivative is minus 2x. Uh, the, sorry, uh, for x less than 1, it is di its differentiable. It is uh, negative 2x. So from negative infinity up to 1, it is differentiable. Not only this one. From the left side of 1 is also its derivative this part. So it's differentiable from the left of 1. So 1 is closed. And for x greater than 1, its derivative it is 1. So it is uh, differentiable from 1 up to infinity. To check, to close this one, let's check whether it is differentiable from the right side or not. From the right side of 1, its derivative is this one. Therefore, it's differentiable from the right side of 1. So I can close this one. So the differentiability interval of this function is this from negative infinity up to 1, closed, and from 1 up to infinity. But it is not differentiable at 1. It's not differentiable at 1. Now let's see this one. f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 2. Let's just try to find the derivative this, of this expression. Uh, the derivative of this expression f of x equal to square root of x minus 1. Uh, we can use this formula in which uh, if we have the function of square root of x, you can drive the formula anyways. The derivative of the square root of x this equal to this 1 over 2 root 6. Similarly, you can drive the derivative of this expression uh, uh, to be this 1 over 2 the square root of x minus 2. This derivative is 1 over 2 square root of x minus 2. So, to find the uh, interval in which uh, this function is differentiable, simply you take the domain of this expression. The domain of this expression uh, is simply x minus 2 must be greater than 2. So x minus 2 greater than 0, it must be uh, greater than 0. This value x minus 2 must be greater than 0. So this is x is greater than 2. It can't be 0 because it is this number is on the denominator. Therefore, uh, this function is differentiable from uh, from 2 up to infinity, or it's differentiable on x greater than 2. This is the interval of differentiability of this function. Now, let's see. So, hence, fx is differentiable on 2 up to infinity. Now, let's see this function f of x is equal to 
absolute value of x plus x minus 1. We are asked to find the interval in which this function is differentiable. So uh, to do this first, I need to write this in a piecewise uh, function form. So to, for that, let's uh, try uh, uh, to write this in a sign chart form. Look. Uh, x is equal to 0 and the boundary numbers for this x equals 0 and x equal to 1. So here we have absolute value of x and the other one is this absolute value of x minus 1. Therefore, I hope you remember the definition of absolute value. Absolute value of x is itself for positive number, negative x for uh, negative numbers. So when you put negative numbers here, so for this one is negative number, its absolute value must be negative. So uh, for this interval, absolute value of x is negative x, which means uh, absolute value of x is equal to x for x greater than or equal to 0 minus x for x less than 0. So for x less than 0, this one is minus x. And it will be for x greater than 0, it is x. Now let's take this one, absolute value of x minus 1. For x, absolute value of x minus 1, if you put 1, it is 0. For number less than 1, this will be negative. So its value is this, negative of x minus 1. This will be also negative of x minus 1. For x greater than 1, its absolute value is itself. So it is x minus 1. So combining this, combining this, you will have this one. f of x is equal to, for x greater than or equal to 1, for x greater than or equal to 1, the sum of the two, it is 2x minus 1. For, for x greater than or equal to, the function will be, this expression will be this, 2x minus 1. And between these two numbers, the sum of these two, it is x plus negative x plus 1, it becomes what? 1. So between this interval, it is 1. And for less than 0, for x less than 0, uh, you add these two. When you add these two, it becomes negative x. This becomes plus, plus 1. So minus 2x plus 1. So this function is the same as this one. So we can simply uh, find now it's a derivative interval of uh, differentiability. So let's find its derivative. The derivative of this function for this part for x greater than 1, not including 1, for that case its derivative of this expression is 2 for x greater than 1. And between 0 and 1, since the function is constant function, its derivative is 0. So it's 0 for this number without including the border, without including 0 and 1. For this interval, its derivative it is 0. And for x less than 0, the derivative of this expression is this, negative 2. The derivative of minus 2x plus 1 is this, negative 2. OK, so to ch after this, we need to check whether it is uh, differentiable at x equal to 1 and at x equal to other border. Check that, look. Check at 1, the right side dev dev derivative is this 2, the, list, le, the left side derivative at 1 is this 0. They are not equal. It's, it's not differentiable at 1 since the right side and the left side derivative of the function at 1 is not equal. Because of this, it's not differentiable at uh, x equals to 1. And let's check at x equals to 0. The left side derivative of the function at x is from the left side of 0, its derivative it is negative 2. And from the right of uh, 0, it is the derivative is 0. Since these two are not equal, this function 
is not differentiable at x equal to 0. So uh, I can, uh, now I can write the interval of differentiability of this function. So here, this function uh, is, it is differentiable uh, for x less than 0 from negative infinity up to 0. It is differentiable also from the left side of 0. So it is uh, differentiable on negative infinity up to 0, including 0. The interval negative infinity up to close the interval 0. Okay, now next to this, from 0 to 1, it's, it's, it's differentiable. From the, the right side of 0, it's differentiable, this one. From the left side of 1, it's differentiable. So it is differentiable on closed interval 0 to 1. And from 1 up to infinity, it is differentiable. From right side of 1 itself, this one is differentiable. So uh, the differentiability interval for this function is this one. Okay, now let's summarize the key pointers that we have seen today. The first one is the derivative of uh, a function uh, at a point A is, it is given by f derivative of A is equal to the limit of f of A plus h minus f of A over h where h goes to zero. And the tangent line equation for the graph of f of x at a, this is given by y minus f of a is equal to the slope f derivative of a times x minus a. And the other part, if i is a closed interval a, b with a less than b, then we say that f is differentiable on i. If f is differentiable, on open interval a b and the right, right side limit or it is differentiable from the right side of a and differentiable from the left side of b which means that the limit of f of x minus f of a when over x minus a where x approaches to a from the right must exist not only this one uh, the limit of f of x minus f of b over x minus b where b approach from the left must exist. If two, if these two exists, it is differentiable on a closed interval a b. So this is all about uh, today's lesson. So I will give you exercise for you uh, to try. So please try these questions. Uh, I gave you four questions here. Uh, so I will give you one minute to write this question. this all about today's lesson. I'll see you uh, on next lecture. Until then, goodbye.